As Apple releases updates, there is more and more coming out that is actually looking to help you with your phone, your battery, and overall optimize it for your day-to-day -day habits. When you enable certain settings on your phone, you're actually enabling your phone battery to be optimized for day-to-day -day charging. Now, Apple has implemented two different features that actually allow your phone to, because it is a smartphone, to actually stop charging at certain periods to reduce heat buildup and basically slow down the degradation of your phone battery. Now, you might say to me, I don't want this on at all. I don't like, I don't want to deal with this. This sounds like a lot of hassle. If you are somebody who does charge your phone consistently every single night from say 9 p.m., maybe it's 8, maybe it's 10, that's not the point, to 5 a.m., and you are somebody who religiously does that and you can't can't think about the last time that you haven't done that, then this is for you. You are going to want to optimize battery charging and clean energy charging. This basically means that as you sleep, instead of your phone going from 40%, 20%, 10%, 0%, all the way to 100 and sitting at 100 for all night, which could be 7 hours, 8 hours, that technically over time is not great for your battery. With these settings on, your battery will actually get to a certain point in the night and actually stop charging until it gets to a certain time. And then it actually picks up your daily habits and will resume charging so that it's fully charged at the time that you need it, which is actually a really huge breakthrough. So when you go into your phone, if you swipe up, you go into settings, then you basically go down to battery and then you click on battery health. So from here, you can actually click on two different settings. So one is gonna be battery um, optimization, optimized battery charging that is. One is gonna be clean energy charging. If you are somebody that charges your phone fairly inconsistently, you're an Uber driver, you're a student, maybe you're a teacher, whatever you are, you're somebody who maybe charges your phone on Saturdays from 12 to five, maybe you charge your phone, you know, kind of just three times a week, maybe it's consistent, but then the other times it's not, or maybe your battery life's so bad that you have to plug your phone in at five o'clock, whatever it is, that is when option B is for red light and for you guys to understand what it means. If you guys are an inconsistent charger, I actually recommend turning both of these off. Now, if you charge your phone like a lot because you have an older phone, I would actually recommend keeping it on. I'm gonna get that into explanation so you guys really understand for sure what I'm talking about here. Something that I noticed the other day and I wanted to make a video for you guys because it's actually kind of a big problem that I realized people should know about this is that if you have both of these settings on and you're not a consistent charger, is that if you have these settings turned on, they can actually completely screw up your charging cycles. And what I mean by this is that the other day, I had my phone charging, it was a Saturday night, and I plugged my phone in at seven o'clock p.m. And I said to myself, hmm, okay, cool, I'm gonna plug it in, hopefully it'll be charged soon. I picked it up at about 7.45 and it said, clean energy charging will be completed at 5 a.m. And it was at 58% and it stopped charging. So it did what it's supposed to do, but the issue becomes here is that if you are somebody who is a inconsistent charger, but you are someone who relies on that. If I was going out on a date with my fiance at nine at 10 o'clock, I would have picked up my phone at 58% and been totally screwed. Now, if you're a pretty casual laid back charger who you really don't care, and you kind of are really not on your phone much, I would actually recommend having these on it because if you are somebody who you're like, okay, wait a second, I do kind of three to four times a week, plug my phone in all night, or I leave my phone on the dresser downstairs at 6 p.m. and I actually get it at 6 a.m. and it actually is charging kind of like all night and that's a long charge, I would enable these features because for those times when you actually are having a situation where your phone battery is literally plugged in for over about six hours, you're putting your phone at a risk of having high heat and degrading faster. This is because what happens is your phone, when it produces heat from being on the charger, they are smartphones. So the phone does get to 100% and then it is a trickle charge and then it stops charging and then it gets to 99 and it goes back up. But this is a cycle that does produce heat. Put your comments in the description below. If there's anything I wasn't clear about, I'm happy to remake this video. Also, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, I can answer anything you guys have to say. Really would like to go over this with you guys fully because it's very important. I'm somebody who my 12 Pro got to like 87% battery health and the battery was just really kind of shot and it didn't work well. So I always try to figure out ways to actually keep my battery lasting longest. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace.